equal. Now, how many kernels are there here? One, two, three, four. Four kernels are there. Now, this corner, see, what is the opposite corner of this corner? Opposite. This is the opposite of this corner. If you join opposite corners, there also you get a line segment. This is called as a diagonal. So, another, another opposite pair corners are pair of corners also there. Here, one, this is the opposite. Now, you join these two corners. There also you get another diagonal. Are you clear here? So, now, rectangle. Rectangle is a closed figure made up of four line segments. Made up of four line segments. So, how about the sides of a rectangle are equal in length? It has a four sides and four corners. Join the opposite corners. Join in the opposite corners. Then you get a one diagonal. This also line segment, but it has a name. What is that? Diagonal. One diagonal is there. Again, another opposite pair also there. Opposite corners. And join the corners also. There also you get the another diagonal. So, every rectangle has four sides and four corners. Opposite sides are equal. It has two diagonals. These two diagonals also have it equal length. Okay? Are you clear here? So now, what are the examples of the rectangle? Paper and a chart. These two are the examples of a rectangle. Generally, you see the so many rectangular faces in our surroundings. Next shape. What is the another shape? Square. What is the square? So once you observe the square. So this also have four sides and four corners. But the difference between these two are, it is big, it is smaller. No. Here, once you observe, the length of a rectangle, is so square, actually it has four sides. These four sides have, four sides are in equal length. See this, now I will show the square also.
No 